Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got a lot to do. We've got to ride two ponies, practice my test and bath two ponies um, because tomorrow we're taking Panda here, our new pony, and Popcorn out for dressage. And it's going to be my second ever dressage test because um, I did one on Rolo, um, but my first ever dressage test on Popcorn and Panda. So very very exciting i've actually been literally stalking my test on the on an app for the last few days um, but now it's just the case of actually riding it because i pretty much know it in my head but everything's completely different as soon as you get on a pony so also my cold still hasn't cleared so if i'm a bit sniffly it's probably still why but yeah, we're going to get you ready because I'm going to have a lesson. Oh, don't buy that. We're going to have a lesson on you and then we're going to have one on popcorn and we're going to bath both of you. All right, let me just quickly grab your fly mask. Okay, right now we can go. It's a beautiful day. Right, let's see how dirty you are. Legs look quite clean. Oh, stand. His bump's not that bad and his belly's actually quite clean. I found our suspect. The shoulder. Well, it's not really the shoulder. The leg. The armpit. <laughs> He's got big poo stain there, has he? Very big poo stain. Mm, I don't think we can do anything to get that off apart from water. Well, I would just ride now. Don't worry about grooming too much. Because he's going to have a bath, isn't he? I'm just using some of the yards like everyday brushes to give them a quick clean because my, my grooming kit's in the trailer all packed for tomorrow. We've got a lot of poo stains there. I don't know how you managed to get in there, boy. I think we need some fly spray for him. Shall I run and go get Pogwad's fly spray? Fly yeah. spray. It's just in his stable. gonna put some hoof oil on because I can't stand crusty hooves. Oh this is really black hoof oil. It's like oh this is good hoof oil. Gets them hooves looking divine. We're just doing one test with each of them tomorrow because as is my first or my second pretty much my first one in a very long time. Um, we didn't want to overdo it. And this is also um, affiliated as it's British dressage. And it's my first ever affiliated dressage. So very exciting. Right, there we go. Hooves looking shiny. Oh, we've got a bit of mud on our face, have we? Yeah, a little bit of mud. I'm going to grab that piece of forelock. I'm literally having to go on my tippy toes because he's huge. Right, there we go. All done. I'm just going to give it a tiny brush. We, we, we've, been, we've been told to not brush his tail because then it keeps the thickness, but I hate it seeing unbrushed tails, which is not convenient. Ooh, this is like a shoe brush. I think we're all done. Oh wow, it's like really wonky. There's loads of saddle pad on this side and like none on that side. I'm still adjusting to like a big horse, even though he's still a pony, because he feels like, he feels huge. Harlan's having um, a yard lesson on learning how to make a straw bed. I haven't, it's not going to reach. Got to undo this side. He's currently filling up wheelbarrows with straw and helping muck out the stables at the farm. I feel like mist is going to be his colour. Baby blue. Yeah. 
baby. I think look good with everything though, don't you think? Yeah. This was a brave colour pony. Very brave colour pony. I'm going to put his nice new Lemure bridle on. We got this when we got him and it's very nice. My thumb's... Is that the same, was it? Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, so... So this is the app that we use. It's called Test Pro. Um, I did pay, but I think you can use... I think you can get a few tests on there for free. Um, but it's British Dressage and Harlow's doing the Prelim 15. And so it's so easy, it just gives you all of the steps. So it just tells you exactly what you need to do. And then you just tap the screen, it will tell you the next move. It's literally been a game changer because it's so easy to like call a test out, to see exactly where you need to go and what you need to do. And for Harlow uh, to pick up, like she's actually learned this test off by heart. I think we still get, will get someone to call it out tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's been brilliant. I would highly recommend this and yeah it's so good and it's got all of the um all of the tests on here uh right up to oh i haven't unlocked it's got all of the tests on here i haven't unlocked these other ones yet because we've not got to that stage no. yet So that went really, really well. Panda was such a good boy. Oh, come here. So we're going to put him in his stable now. He's a little bit sweaty because um, it's very hot today. Um, but we're going to put him in his stable and then I'm going to ride Popcorn. Practice my tests on him as well. And then we will bath them after. Oh, having a snack there, Panda. So this is Panda's out... This is like his garden. He's got an outdoor area and an indoor area. So do you want to come in so I can take his bridle off, Mummy? So this is his outdoor area, so he can see the whole yard. And then his indoor area... I know, I'll, I'll give you scratches in a second. Oh, that goes the other way. That, that goes in that way. And then he's got his stable in here so he can choose whether he wants to be inside or outside. So he's got a bit of indoor and outdoor living and he absolutely loves it. Whenever it's feed time, he'll stand outside and see when his food's coming. There we go. All itchies. Ooh, scratchies. I'm gonna take his boots off in a sec. So I'm wearing my new boots today that I got at Christmas and 
The reason why I'm like wearing them all around the yard is A, because I need to start breaking them in so they're comfortable to ride in for the tests and so I won't wear them for show jumping because um, they're painted which is like hard so they're actually quite soft painting because some painting boots are literally rock solid but I wanted to practice in them and not go straight into my dressage test tomorrow in them because otherwise it will be it will feel a bit weird they do feel they do still feel a little bit stiff but now that I've worn them a couple times they're softening up I will give them a clean over though when I get home um, but yeah we're gonna go tank popcorn up now get him all ready you're gonna chill hey popcorn hello oh yes Popcorn is waiting for dinner now. He won't even eat his hay because he's saving himself for dinner. He does this every day. Every single day. He'll wait out here even if he needs to wait an hour just for did dids. Yes. He doesn't even get that much. I know. Popcorn's in the mist as well today. It's a mist kind of day today. But tomorrow will be white and navy. I don't think Popcorn's that impressed that he's missing dinner time to practice a dressage test, but I think he's going to love it when he's at his pony party tomorrow because he hasn't been to a dressage test literally in about three years because he hadn't been to one for quite a while before we got him. We also went, haven't decided when or how we're going to be plaiting his mane tomorrow because me and mum have not plaited for... Like a proper plait, like a... The little bun, buns. Yeah, like a that looking kind of plait in about two well, years. We've never done it. No, we did it once, didn't we? We did it once, but no, then we got help, didn't we? By Ida. Because yeah. they looked terrible. We were like, oh my God, we rang up Ida because she literally lives at... Uh, she used to live at our old yard and she still does. Um, and we were like... Ida, you gotta come out of your house and help us plow popcorn up because we don't know how to do it. <laughs> we need help tonight or tomorrow basically because we probably should have practiced how to plat about a week prior to this. But it was a very last minute thing. The dressage test, wasn't it? Well, we knew it was going to be coming actually. We wanted to do it with popcorn and then Panda came and we were like, why don't we just put it in with Panda as well? So guys, the plants are somehow gonna have to happen, but I don't know how or when. Just running through my test quickly. Yep. And change the rain again. Trot walk. Do that walk weird thingy. And then yeah. Guys, we haven't even got markers in this arena. I have to learn without the markers. Test time. I'm going to do my test. 
Yes, I am, and I'm not gonna fail, hopefully. Uh, uh, uh. So we've just had a little discussion and we thought it would be a better idea to bath in the morning because bearing in mind it is like half eight right now. We're just gonna get up early because we still need to have our dinner yet. We're going to our Nan's house tonight. So she's gonna cook for us. Um, so we don't have to worry about that, which is, is amazing. I mean, more amazing for mum. Um, so we're gonna pop popcorn away now. Yes. Uh, do you wanna come in your stable? We've got din dins now. Oh, dinner time! Yes, you had your dinner before me. Right, we're gonna put him away. We're not gonna bath now. Gonna leave that to the morning, but we will see you guys bright and early. Good boy. Oh, there we go. Oh, scratches. Yes. Good morning guys, we are up bright and early. It's 6 a.m. Um, and we're getting ready for the Hello Spa, my dear friends. And we need to, I've got my first ever grey client. So, we're gonna see how this goes. Yes, 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 Panda, yes. He's a very good boy. But we're a bit grimy. We've got some grimy speckles and some poo-poo and more poo-poo. I think I've got to get used to having to do lots of cleaning because I did with popcorn, especially in the winter, but now it's a bit more extreme. This is the next level, um, and we've only got half an hour to do it because we've got to do, we've got to bath him and we've got to bath popcorn and plat popcorn. So, we've got a lot to do. We actually decided last night that since popcorn was so clean, he didn't need a bath, so he's only going to have a mane, a tail, and probably leg wash. Um, but you, on the other hand, Panda Boy, need a bit of a more of a leg wash. But we are going to do hot oil with popcorn just to gloss him up a little bit. Um, but yes, right, so maybe would you mind getting the hot water working, and then we shall hollow spa, are we? So Panda, this is your first time at the hollow spa, but it's not going to be a lot. No, it's not. His tail hasn't been brushed for days, which has been killing me. So I asked mum, if we put our um, MP Gloss Oso Silver Conditioner, purple conditioner in it, would we be able to brush it? Because it absolutely, I don't know, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies when ponies' tails aren't brushed. I'm very excited to be doing my first ever British dressage test today. The key thing is to not brush their tail unless it's like a show or it's really necessary um, because then it goes thin. So we haven't brushed it for a couple of days, have we? So it's a bit knotty, but we're gonna use our condi conditioner. And we're gonna get it all silky and unknotted again, aren't we? He's got so much tail, it's hard to get it all wet. Right there's perfect. We've also got panda and popcorn in a tail bag, which they're gonna wear after their tail wash to keep them clean. Mum, I think you're gonna need to do a massive purple shampoo order. Rub your hands because the pan looks good. It's too much tail. I need to work in sections. Section number two. I put a bit too much on section number two. No, it's fine. Just rub it in. Thank you.
second pony. It's now seven o'clock. Um, and we need to get the ponies loaded up in about half an hour. Um, 40 minutes, 45 minutes max. We're not doing that bad on time, are we? Mummy. They've both had their breakfast. Yep. There we go. Done. They look gorgeous. And now we're going to have a little leg and tail wash, yeah? Yep. And a hot oil. Hot oil. Leg yep. I <laughs> don't know if you can see, but especially on his bum, there's loads of mini hairs. So I'm just trying to get some of them off before we hot oil him. Oh, you're stunning. You look so pretty in your plaits. I haven't really seen him in plaits for about a year, so. Okay, it's good now. What the? Just went to go like shake the bottle, but the lid wasn't on. And shampoo's gone, conditioner's gone everywhere, but not that much, only a little bit. Just putting some spray on him. So we'll get him to smell nice and look extra, ooh. You're very jumpy today. What's happened? You get a treat in a minute, yeah? Popcorn's all good, I'm just planting his tail now. I hot oiled him and sprayed him over. Amazing. So we're ready to load the first pony now. Panda's all ready. He's got his new head collar, new rug and new boots on. We've also, this is like his, um travel tail bag thingy majingy bum bum over bum bum over good boy so you're going to tie him up to here yep oh he's pooing oh that's it you look like an Arabian. You're very pretty. You've got to do them from the outside. Popcorn, you look amazing. Up we go. Right, we have arrived. We're opening their windows so they can see out. Oh, you're so pretty. Your plats look okay? Yes. Oh, he loves the window. Loves the window. He's got to love a window. Oh, this is his first proper outing, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, don't rub your pants, don't rub your pants. So my test with Panda is first, and then we've got popcorns an hour later. Are we to do your hair, Harlow? Oh yeah, should we do that now? Yeah, let's do your hair quickly. Big guns are out today. This hat only comes out on special occasions. Very nice. We've also got Panda's new saddle pad on, which has got a bit of bling, so we're matching. And then we've got the big boots out as well. How are you feeling? I'm getting nervous now. Are you? Yeah. Don't be nervous. You'll be fine. I shall be okay.
so that was amazing he was such a good boy um we're still getting used to each other because he's still getting used to like having such a small person on him and i'm getting used to having to steer panda i'm i'm having to get used to steer such a huge animal so when i when i went in i was feeling a little bit nervous um, and to be honest, I actually knew my test a lot better than I thought I did. Oh, that's good. Because I thought I was going to forget where I was going. Even though I did have the reader, I did like I did think, oh, I probably could have done it without the reader. But there were some points because, like, like there there were some things where I was like, oh, where am I going now? Like literally two moments. Yeah, I thought that you might freeze. Oh yeah, she froze can't get this number off. I'm just changing my number now. Right. Wrong way. All right, I'm just gonna go hook this in the car. We're warming, we're just tacking up popcorn, then we're gonna warm him up. So we've got the exact same test, what am I standing on? Oh, my boots. We've um, got the exact same test in 40 minutes, so. You should have done it on the way then. <laughs> Oh God, stop it! Because basically, it doesn't matter if the bridle's glittering oh. when your pony goes like, I tried to do you it! you have warmed it up. But he said it doesn't matter what your brow band looks like. It really does. That was amazing. Well done, darling. Popcorn. 
He's super stuck. He loved that. So guys, we're just waiting for our results with popcorn and we got our results in with Panda and I got 70.8%, which is my best ever Which like you're result. pretty much your only ever. <laughs> yeah. So that is absolutely amazing. It, pa Panda was amazing. He was such a good boy. And so were you. You were a little superstar. Yes, you were. You were so good. But now we're just trying to, we're waiting for our results with popcorn and we're having a little, we were having a little chat and then I was having my aid, and then I've had to hold my, my Maltesers under my hat because popcorn kept on trying to eat them and then I allowed chocolate, so. But I won't let him have it, but. How does he know how to drink out of a bottle? <laughs> Popcorn knew he was in a dressage test. He was strutting his moves, weren't you? Yes, you were. This is basically my first ever dressage test, like British dressage test, because the one that I did with Rolo wasn't affiliated. So there was, it wasn't as big a competition, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm super excited. Popcorn knew he was in there and he hasn't been to dressage for about three, three and a half years, I reckon. I think there was nine in your class. Why? <laughs> Let go! <laughs> Cheeky pony. Guys, what do you reckon? Is it a yay or a nay? Is it a... or a... This... wait. Is it a yay or a nay? I do feel like in Popcorn's test, I was like kicking a little bit too much, but I didn't want him to break because I can't get this undone. Break Yeah. Especially in the character because I didn't want him to break into the trot from the canter because that's what happened with Panda's test. No, he knows my Maltesers are under that hat and he's trying to nudge it. All right, scores are in. Let's see our scores on the doors. Is it, is it good or no? It's good. 69%. So he came first on the other one and third on him. Oh my gosh. So Panda won. That's such... He won the class, yeah, and he came third. That's really so good. first, popcorn third. That's amazing. Wow, we. I want to see whose centre line's better. <laughs> Who do you think was better? Popcorn, just because I could turn more. Guys, I won it and I got third. It's amazing. Right, let's see whose centre line was better. <laughs> I want the red one. 6.5 for popcorn, centre line, and 7 for panda. Panda got like, oh, oh, oh. I got a 15.5, change the rain in working trot. That's where you broke. Yes. Change the rain in working trot for popcorn. I got 7. So what was popcorn's lowest mark and his highest mark? Popcorn's lowest mark, 6.5. It was either 6.5 or 7. That's all he got. Oh. 6.5 or 7. 5. Oh, a 7.5 as well. 6.5 or 7.5 or 7, which is really good. I'm happy with that. And, and then, then what was Panda, 5.5. Yeah, that was there. But apart from that, what was the next lowest score? Um, 7. That, that was his lowest? Yeah. So everything was a 7 and a 7.5? Mm hmm Well, that's amazing. So what was it? Let's have, read the comments then. Okay. I've got prize money! £15! Take that. <laughs> Pay back your entry fee. Fuck on, Panda! Boys! Fuck on, still got his fringe platin. 
They've absolutely loved this today to be able to see out the window. They've got a nice breeze. Um, Popcorn can see what's going on, but she loves because you're very nosy. Yes. Popcorn's snacking. Panda's sleeping. This one. Do you want to have a roll? Because I know you want to. I told you he's going to roll. And turn them out. Oh, he was waiting for that. Come here, let me give you your itchies. <laughs> do, you, do you want this to come out? Yeah. Itchies. <laughs> you know, I've got treats in my pocket. Right, just the last one. It's got no more. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've got no more. <laughs> I've got no more treats. I couldn't be prouder of them both today. They were so well behaved and they did their best. Um, <laughs> I've got no more treats. You've had them all. Popcorn trotted his socks off. You were so good. What was your score with him? 69%. Exactly. And then, yeah, no, not exactly. Like 69. 69 point something percent. And I was the only child as well, and I got the highest marks, um, which I was very happy about. Um, is this his rug? Got naked, babe. Yeah, naked wakey. Hi, Panda. Hello. You were such a good. Do you want itchies too? Do you want itchies too? You were such a good boy. Come around this way. Beep, beep. Traversing. <laughs> yep. Come on, Panda. Slow but steady. Hello, you were such a good boy. Yes, you were. <laughs> Why is everyone so interested in my pockets? First outing with our new pony and I could not be more pleased with how today went. You were such a good boy, weren't you, Panda? Yes, you were. And Popcorn was on fire as well. Um, a little bit to work on, but that's uh, fine. There's always room for improving. But I've absolutely loved the dressage, and you guys all know, you, you want it there? Yes? <laughs> but you guys all know how much I love the dressage. Um, and I am absolutely loving being like back in the dressage mode as well. Very exciting times to come now, guys. But I hope you all enjoyed watching today's vlog and we will see you in the next one. Bye.